are on a mission to make our own healthier bubble tea and we've got just the right person to show us how it's done in the kitchen. This is Derek. He is famous for this. Winning the coveted title on MasterChef Singapore Season 2. This mad kitchen scientist is going to show us how to whip up a yummy and healthy homemade bubble tea. Hi, Derek. Hey Cheryl, didn't notice you there. Well, I'm sneaky like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, so today we're going to do some work. But before that, you got to put on this apron. Okay, yes chef! But healthier doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't taste good. It's going to taste better. Better? Yes. So, I'm um, going to use uh, this tea called hojicha. Okay. So, it's actually a roasted tea leaf. Very nice, very smoky aroma. So, uh, what are the benefits of hojicha? It's actually low caffeine. So, it's quite good for those who are sensitive to caffeine. Mm. In place of our tapioca pearls, we're going to use a sweet potato boba. Sweet potato boba? Yes. Okay. Right. What do we do? So I got some water boiling. So this is uh, about 95 degrees and we put the hojicha tea in for about 5 minutes. So let me set a timer. Okay. Alright, let's sieve it. And then we're gonna uh, infuse it with uh, some honey. The flavour complements hojicha very well. So we're gonna put the honey in. So this is flavour. Okay, easy enough. We'll pop it in the fridge. Yep, we can put okay. it in the fridge. Goodbye. Okay, potato time. Potato time. Fun fact! Sweet potatoes are more nutritious than tapioca. And I found out that they have a lower GI as well. Which we have learned is what we want in our food to prevent a blood sugar spike. So I got some sweet potatoes that have been steamed until they are soft and tender. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape the meat out and then we're going to pass it through this sieve to make it more fine. You can try it. Okay. Just basically just scratch and scrape, scratch and scrape. I think it's good. I think it's yeah. good. Aww. My mother will be so proud. Hi, <laughs> mom. So I weighed the starch really. So we have about 35 grams. Tapioca starch. Yeah. Does it have to be tapioca starch? Yes, tapioca starch actually helps to have some elasticity in the dough. So it actually helps to make it sort of like a real boba. So now I'm going to knead the dough. So first thing is basically just to cover the sweet potato mm -hmm. with the starch. tapioca flour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it becomes like a sandy texture. You can add the water for me. All right. That's good. Okay. Okay, you see it's coming together. Yeah. So we got a ball now, a nice dough. We just have to cut them into boba sized. Okay. And did you want this size? Because when it cooks, it's actually gonna swell up as well. Oh. So you don't want it too big because you're oh. not gonna be able to drink it with a straw. Okay. So now we're just gonna uh, sieve off the excess starch that's actually oh. covering mm. the boba. Right, I think that's that's very nice. They're so pretty. Right, let's boil this. I'm gonna just boil this for one, two minutes. So right now, we're going to make the honey syrup. Okay. 50 grams of 50 honey. 50 grams of honey. Then we add water. About 100 grams of water. And now we're going to bring this to a boil. Okay. And we're going to see the sweet potato and let it cook in the honey syrup. So I've taken the tea out from the fridge. Mm -hmm. And next, we're going to add the milk into it. So we're going to scale our milk. So we have our milk tea. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start with our bubble tea. Okay. So we're going to line the cups with the boba. They're such a nice colour. Yeah, because of the sweet potato. Yeah, glowy and wholesome looking. This isn't very difficult. It is yeah. very simple, like you said. This is for you. Thank you. Alright, cheers. I'm so excited. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can really taste the punchiness of the tea. Yeah. Mm, it's really aromatic and it's... And the pearls are really, really bouncy. Mm. And it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, and it's a healthy. We did it! Making the pearls with steamed sweet potatoes, using low caffeinated hoji cha, and replacing regular sugar with honey. That's really all it takes to make healthier bubble tea at home. Thank you, Derek. My pleasure.